Hi everyone, today we are going to see another Singapore math problem and this problem involves percentage uh, fractions and typical comparison more than as well. So let's look at this problem first. In a mathematical toolkit, there are triangles, squares, and rectangles. So there are three types of shapes in the mathematical toolkit. They are triangles, squares, and rectangles. There are 180 more triangles than squares. Here we have the comparison statement. There are 180 more triangles than squares. There are two-thirds as many rectangles as triangles. Given that the number of squares is 15% of the total number of shapes in the toolkit, how many triangles are there in the toolkit? So uh, uh, as we have already seen, if we just look at the whole question, it might be a bit confusing, but if we can just, you know, break it down into simple uh, statements and solve them, it will become easier. So there are three types of shapes here. The first comparison statement is here. There are 180 more triangles than squares. So our uh, base here is squares. Let's assume, okay, let's assume this one box or one unit here represents the number of squares in the mathematical toolkit. Now, if this is the number of squares, we know that there are 180 more triangles than squares. So when it comes to the triangles, it will have whatever is there in the squares, the same amount plus 180 more, right? So then there are two over three as many rectangles as triangles. See what the base here again is triangles, rectangles is compared to triangles and it says if, what this means is if, the triangles, the number of triangles is divided into three equal parts, right? If the number of triangles, which is the base here, is e divided into three equal parts, and then the rectangles would be equal to two of those parts. The number of rectangles would be equal to two of those parts. So in this case, let's say if we divide the triangle into three equal parts, then the rectangles, the amount of rectangles would be equal to two of those parts. That is what this fraction statement means here. Now, given that the number of squares is 15% of the total number of shapes in the toolkit, right? so what they are saying is the squares, the number of squares is 15% of the total number of uh, uh, shapes in the toolkit. So what it means is the total number of rectangles, triangles and squares put together is 100%. And out of that, squares is 15%. So if that is the case, what is these two together? That would be 100% minus 15%. So that should be, these two together should be 85%. Now you see that this 85% is actually equally divided into five equal parts, right? So since it is divided into five equal parts, what would be one part? The percentage representation of one part. We can get that by 85% divided by five, which gives 17%. So that means this is 17%, this is 17%, and this is 17, this is 17, and this is 17%. So in terms of triangles, how many percentage of the total shapes is made up of triangles? So that can be found by 3 times 17%, right? So that is equal to 51%. So... Now there is a comparison that you can see between the squares and the triangles. The triangle is 180 more than the squares. Now the triangle is equal to 51% and the, 
and the squares is 15 percent so the difference in percentage between the triangles and the squares is 51 percent minus 15 percent which is 36 percent now this 36 percent is what is this gap here the difference between the triangles and the squares so that is 36 percent and we also know the actual number of shapes that is represented by this percentage so 36 percent represents 180 or 36 percent of this whole uh, the, the total number of shapes is equal to 180 now what is 1 percent if you want to find 1 percent uh, in any like in any equation there are two sides left hand side and right hand side we can divide both sides by the same number so to get one percent we have to divide here by 36 which means we divide the right hand side by 36 as well now the question is about how many triangles are there in the toolkit so triangles is 51 percent so i want to find out how much is 51 percent so the triangle is 51 percent so here I'm going to find out what is 51%. So 1%, if you want to convert it into 51%, it's times 51, right? So on the left, on the right hand side as well, whatever we get will be times 51. This whole thing on simplification gives us 255. So the answer to the question is how many triangles are there in the toolkit? There are 255 triangles in the toolkit. Hope this method was easier. If you have any difficulty understanding any of these portions too, let me know. Uh, I will try to uh, have another video where we can go in detail on how uh, we multiply uh, fractions and so on. Or how we convert uh, um, percentages to fractions and so on. So now, if this is clear, now we are going to move on to see how to solve the same problem without using models, directly using algebra. The question is, in a mathematical toolkit, there are triangles, squares, and rectangles. There are 180 more triangles than squares. There are two-thirds as many rectangles as triangles. Given that the number of squares is 15% of the total number of shapes in the toolkit, how many triangles are there in the toolkit now first we go to this comparison statement there are 180 more triangles than squares so squares is our base here because that is what is being compared to so let's assume the number of squares is represented by x a variable which can take any value All right now compared to the squares the triangle is 180 more. So whatever uh, squares, the total number of squares plus 180. So that's x plus 180. Now the rectangles is actually two thirds of the triangles. So triangle is x plus 180. The rectangle will be represented as two thirds of, of means times, two third times x plus 180 so that is the total number of rectangles that we have here now the next statement says given that the number of squares is 15 percent of the total number of shapes in the toolkit it says uh, the number of squares in this case is x so that is equal to 15 percent of the total number of shapes in the toolkit so, which means we can write it as x is equal to that is the squares the number of squares is equal to 15 percent of right 15 percent of what the total of all the shapes which means x plus x plus 180 the triangles plus the rectangles which is represented by two-thirds times x plus 180 so this is the total number of shapes so uh, x is equal to 15 percent of the total number of shapes now we know that 15 percent can be written as 15 over 100 times 
x plus x plus 180 and here we are going to multiply 2 over 3 to a times x and then plus 2 over 3 times 180. So 2 over 3 times x becomes 2x over 3 plus again 3 times 60 gives us 180 and 2 times 60 will become 120. So that's how this is simplified to become 120 here. Now what we can do is uh, bring all the x terms together, try to add them up. So what we have done here is this is 2x over 3. Now if I want to add them easily, I just want to write them in terms of the denominator as 3 because I just want to make the denominators equal. So if I want to make the denominator of this as 3, I have to multiply and divide this by 3 so that the value does not change. So 3x by 3. If you see 3 and 3 will get cancelled and it will still be the value still remains as x. So it can be written as 3x over 3 plus 3x over 3 these two plus 2x over 3 plus 180 plus 120. So if you see here and also here uh, we are simplifying this 15 over 100. Uh, we are dividing uh, both the numerator and the denominator by 5. 5 times 3 is 15 and 5 times 20 is 100. Just to make the calculations easier, we are uh, trying to reduce them or simplify them. Here, what since the denominators are the same, we can just add the numerators together. 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. All right? So that becomes 3 by 20 times 8x over 3 plus this gives us 300. So here um, x is equal to we are going to multiply these two first right so 3 and 3 gets cancelled so what is remaining is 8x over 20 plus 3 over 20 times 300 that will become 45 right 20 times um, 5 is 100 so 20 times 15 is 300 and 3 times 15 gives 45 so now if you look at this 8x over 20 8 over 20 can still be further simplified divide both uh, the numerator and denominator by 4 which would give us x is equal to 2x over 5 plus 45. Now I want to get rid of this 5. So the easiest way to do is multiply both sides of this equation with 5. Right? So when I do that, here it becomes 5 times x is equal to, again here I have to multiply each of these terms with 5. So when I multiply the first term with 5, I get 5 and 5 gets cancelled, so 2x plus 5 times 45 gives 225. Now I bring the 2x over to the left hand side, so that would become 5x minus 2x, which is equal to 225, and x is equal to 225 divided by 3, which is 75. So that x is the number of squares but the question here is how many triangles are there in the toolkit so the triangles is actually given by x plus 180 which is 75 plus 180 which gives 255 so that is the answer here i hope i did not rush through this uh, and it was clear so if you have any feedback to put them in the comments section thank you for watching have a great day Bye.